What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the Walmart exclusive Prowler. So let's see what we've got going on. Let's check it out. Now tuning into the encounter culture. <laughs> As promised, today we'll be taking a look at Prowler. Let's see what we've got going on. All right, so this is a Walmart exclusive, but on arguably the best retro card available in Marvel Legends. That's totally of my opinion. There are some good retro cards on other parts of Marvel Legends, but this one is so good, right? All right, Marvel's Prowler. There's a cool image. There he is. He's got an extra set of hands. There's the extra head. Do love that we got an unmasked head here. Pneumatic Knuckles. That's it. Flip it to the back. There's your blueprint. There's another great animated image. Spider-Man, Marvel Comics, Marvel. Some information down here. Using a super suit from Kingpin, Hobie Brown became the powerful criminal Prowler with the caveat that he worked only for Wilson Fisk. Feeling betrayed, Prowler turned to Spider-Man for help. All right. Let's get him out of the box. Fresh out of the box, this is uh, exactly as advertised, right? It's a retro card. You know what you're getting with these figures, so no need to dive too deep into to surprises here, right? But uh, aesthetically, I, I'm, I'm liking the figure. I like the choice of the lighter purple, sort of a more lavender type color mixed with this mid-range green. It's a really nice shade of green. Uh, one I'm, I'm pretty partial to, so I, I will give it that. Uh, you got the, the nice emblem just standing out there. So a pretty nice color combination all the way around. You've got this metallic purple for the hands and accessories there. So belt included. It's a nice pop on top of everything. Just a minor touch that really gives it that next level to highlight those features. Excellent looking head sculpt. You've got the extra head with the mask, extra set of hands. Let's take a closer look though. Moving in closer, we can get a good look at this head sculpt. Some really great detail in there. That's just a very well executed face. Head sculpt all around. Really good texture in the hair. Some good sort of highlighting above the eyebrow there to give that sort of... Uh, that brow look you know just really good expression in the forehead there very stern look on the face so just really nice detail there uh, cape pretty flat I mean there's nothing no highlights or anything with the cape a uh, little bit of a darker tone on the inside as opposed to what it looks like on the outside but nothing else other than that cape is keyed in so that is something to keep in mind that's either going to be a highlight for some or piss some people off so uh, do what you want with that it is keyed in on each shoulder so you will have to break it off to remove it but uh, for those of you who were more annoyed with how like this cape was maybe it's a it's an added bonus so there you go all right nice looking here no imperfections in there which is really nice really good that uh, that came out that way these uh, are all the same pieces that we had on the previous release so they are loose they will fall around I thought we had moved past that we would graduated from those types of things in Marvel Legends but uh, they've reared their ugly head once more belt is a separate piece as well so you can move that around and it does hide that hip swivel Let's take a look at this alternate head and uh, see what we have for hands. For your masked head, you get some really great contrast with the black there. From the images and the reveal, I thought that this wasn't going to look as good in hand. But it, it does come out pretty nice looking when you're just your face with it. It's, it's pretty daunting uh, aesthetically. So it does have a, a pretty good look to it the black really stands out provides a great amount of contrast there you've got the white for the eyes in there to make those stand out a little a little smudge there but that'll come out so yeah that that does provide a great amount of detail and contrast which i think just comes out very nicely for your first set of hands you do have your open hands Again, you can see that metallic shimmer that just adds a really nice layer to those. You've also got your set of fists. So those, you know, they provide good 
uh, options. So you either have your open hands or your, your closed fists. So choose wisely. Your hands, your open hands at least, are the same as the previous release of this costume prowler. So you can see that there. As far as your articulation goes, the head, he'll look down to there. Chin will basically touch the chest. Cape does get in the way just a little bit. He'll look up to about there. No significant amount of gap in the front, nor in the back. You have no rock side to side, but the head will rotate all the way around however you need it to go. As I said, the cape is keyed in, so that will limit your arm going backwards just a little bit. But of course, you can just bring it out to rotate it around. It will go up to about there, so you do get a little bit higher than usual. You do have your upper bicep cut, double jointed pinless at the elbow. So that comes out, uh, yeah, not, not too bad. Nothing at the forearm, although there is that cut there you can see in the plastic, but uh, there is no forearm rotation there. These are loose, as I said, so they will move around. And of course you have your hinge and swivel at the wrist. Basic ab crunch, basic hip swivel. So it would have been nice to see that updated. They are, it is a slightly modified torso, but uh, the articulation in the torso is exactly the same. So basic ab crunch, no gap though, you know, very minimal at least. And then uh, full rotation at the hips there. Belt will move on its own. He'll kick up though for days. I mean, he's got all kinds of range there, all right? Not going back very far and not going out too far. Upper thigh cut double jointed pinless at the knee so you can get it there you do have your boot cut and again this will just move all the way around and it'll continue to fall and your ankle swivel and hinge down there for your size comparison of course i've picked out the previous version of this prowler I think lizard wave uh similar costume right this one being more comic based this one being more animated based so you can get the, the contrasting color there. Personally, I think I'm just going to keep the Lizard Wave one in my PC in the display. I think that one looks a little bit better for me aesthetically. But either way, you're going to get a really good version of Prowler. And this is great for people, A, who collect these retro cards, or B, missed out on this Prowler. And I guess there's a third option for C, uh, people who are just Prowler collectors. So you don't have a lot, but uh, you, you've got another one now. Similar height, a lot of the same parts here. Of course, this is on an updated pinless body. Articulation is fairly similar. You know, there are a lot of, of things that are exactly the same. You've got these reused pieces all the way around. Good figures either way it just really depends on the aesthetic for your personal display, what you, you choose to have, how you want to go about things. Uh, either way, I think you'll be okay. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. There is your Prowler on the Spider-Man retro card. Brand new figure coming out. Walmart exclusive for us in the U.S. For those of you who don't have to deal with that Walmart exclusive tag, then I, I, I am envious of you, I think. I don't know. I I usually don't have a lot of issue getting these Walmart exclusives, but they can be tricky, especially if you're not there to pre-order on day one. Uh, the last few have actually gone pretty well, though, so hopefully we're, we're changing tides on that. Some of those previous Walmart exclusives became more like Walmart elusives, right? So you know the drift. You know what that's about. It's uh, a pain in the ass sometimes, but uh, it all works out if you keep your eye on the pulse good looking figure a lot to like about it i do really enjoy the alternate head i think that was executed very well looks good there are things to love some things that could have been updated better torso articulation having that old torso basic ab crunch and hip swivel situation especially when it was exactly the same articulation we had on the previous release that is definitely a downer for this figure. It would have been good to see that updated, but that Prowler is a little bit harder to come by, or at least was until this was announced. So 
for those of you who have been holding out for a prowler now's your time to jump on one and, and get one in your display uh for those of you who collect the retro card I, i'm i'm understanding a little more each and every day but uh not to the point where i'll ever get there but i get you it's a it's a nice looking card and these figures do look good on the card I've rambled on. I've rambled enough. Let's stop talking about this. I appreciate you checking out the video. That's what I've had to, to offer for you. That's the two cents. Do what you want with that information. I do hope you got something out of it, though. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the video. Thank you for hanging out this long if you have. Of course, you can always find me on any of these socials down here. Most importantly, though, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe below. And until next time, take it easy. Wanted to end. I'd rather be a drinking with my friends. When we go out, you'll never see us again.